In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the Choose Action pop-up to add, edit, and delete your content. Mark my words, this one feature will save you a huge amount of time, so let's get into it. To get started, make sure the Categories and Documents tree is visible in the left-hand side of your screen. If it's not, then click the Home button in the top navigation bar. The Home button is the one on the far left which may have your logo or even the TKO logo on it. You should now be able to see the Categories and Documents tree in the left-hand side of your screen. To invoke the Choose Action pop-up, simply right-click over a category or a document in the tree. What gets displayed will vary slightly depending on whether you have clicked a category or a document. To begin with, let's explore what happens when you click on a category. We'll select this one by right-clicking on it. When the pop-up appears, it provides five actions that you can take. 1. Change category name. 2. Delete selected category. 3. Move selected category. 4. Add new document. 5. Default menu link. Let's explore each of these one by one. To change the name of the selected document, click Change Category Name. Enter a new name, click Save, and you're done. To delete the selected category, click Delete Selected Category. At the prompt, decide on what you want to do with associated documents. You must decide whether to delete them as well or give them draft status, thereby taking them off the front end and only visible from the back end, or move them to another category. If you decide to move them to another category, then select the new category from the select list, then click Move. Otherwise, click Delete. To move the selected category, click Move Selected Category. To move to an existing category, select an existing category from the drop-down list and then click Move. To move to a new category, click the New Category link. Enter a new name, select a parent category from the new category if you want to, click Add New Category button, then don't forget to click Move. To add a new document, Click Add New Document. Enter a new name. To save under this category, simply click Save. To save under another category, click the Change Category link, select a different category, then click Save. To save under a new category, click the New Category link, enter a new name for the category, select a parent category if you wish, click the Add New Category button, then don't forget to click Save. So that's how you handle categories. But now let's have a look at what happens when you click on an individual document. We'll select this one by right-clicking on it. As you can see, the Choose Action pop-up is similar to categories, so there's no need to go into great detail, as basically the same instructions used for categories applies here as well. The only exception is the Edit Selected Document menu item which allows you to open the visual editor to change a document. To edit the selected document, click Edit Selected Document. Then choose whether you want the editor to open in a new tab or in the current window. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.